some old man. Well, we got the plum trees. Arrived on the doorstep last night. And I'm not going to wait to put them in. I've seen that beautiful weather and it's not getting too cold at night, mid 40s. So I think we can go ahead and safely put them in. So I'm here to show you what it's about. As you can see, I have the tree right here, one of them, the other one's over next to the other hole. I have a bag of topsoil, so I'm ready to go. You saw me in the previous episode going ahead and digging the holes so that they're all ready to go. So all I need to do is open these packages up, take them out of the little uh, planters and put them in the hole and then backfill with topsoil. Now this is a uh, standard gar garden soil which I picked up at Lowe's and it has all the fertilizers and everything that I should need right away. I'm not going to do any extra fertilizer at this point. We'll probably do some in the spring when the trees actually get really gets growing. Right now it's just going to be putting out the roots and getting ready to hibernate for the winter. And that's pretty much all it is. It's a very simple operation to put the uh, tree in. This particular tree is a Santa Rosa plum. My other tree up on the other side, which will be up at in a minute, is a Rosa standard plum. Two different varieties, they'll cross pollinate okay. I'm not planning to try to grow anything from the seed which is probably not something that you would expect to do for a tree. It's not the way you usually propagate. But uh, when this has had a chance to settle in, the dirt that I just put in will probably subside a little bit and I'll put more in just to make sure that it's uh, firmly established. And now we're back behind the shed with the second tree. This is the Morris Plum, Morris Plum Standard EZ. Both of these plums came from Starks, which is located out in Missouri, I believe. And I've purchased a number of things from them over the years. And in general, I've had pretty good success with it. But now we're gonna go ahead and put this one in. And there we go. Two plum trees put exactly where I want them to in my yard. And in a couple years, maybe three, we'll be seeing plums coming out with any luck to join the peaches and the pears and the figs and the elderberry 
and maybe even kiwi by that time, but we'll see. That's all I've got for today. Thought I'd bring that to you real quick. This is some old man asking you to hit the like button, reg uh, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you do get a notification every time that I put one of these videos out. Hope you enjoyed. Some old man signing off.